Hello everyone, this is Fire Trainer 92 and welcome to the next episode of Back in the Saddle. This episode is another Street Fighter episode. Um, next will be Tekken. Um, we want to start off with Street Fighter because we want to continue the storyline, quote unquote, of my play. So this is coming right off the beta. Right off the beta, you know, I had all that confidence. I felt like I was getting better. Let's we'll see how well I do. This first match is against Adon. From what I hear is a really uh, complicated character. We're, we're going to deal with the scrub Adon. Okay. Jaguar kicking to go through the fireball. Smart, I guess. I'm carrying, like, doing a fake kick for no reason. No punish. Odd. So I can't look at these, um... Wow. I can't look at these like I'm playing now because I don't do a lot of stuff. See, that was... Oh, that bothered me. I, I hate not punishing stuff. Well, I know I can punish it. So I'm over here just getting Jaguar kicked all day. So I said, F that ass hair. And this is going to be a little bit more play-by-play. -play. Punish. There you go. Ah, uh, that was a hard read. Yeah, I, I kind of want to start like this. So, by this point, um, I've, I was feeling myself hard. Not too hard. You know, I was taking losses or whatever. But it wasn't to the point where I felt like I was, um, you know, just terrible. I just feel, I feel like, because I'm beating people with base fundamentals. I'm not learning focus attacks. I'm not learning about ultras. I'm just beating people with Street Fighter fundamentals. How the game is supposed to be played, you know what I mean? So, this Adon is jumping around and stuff. I could be sure you can a lot more, but I mean, it's just like that. Pretty much, there you go. <laughs> I feel, I feel like I had the control over the match. Oh, no, no punish! I dropped that. Whoa, that was a bad. That was a wrong punish. Jaguar kick. Yeah, I was reading that. Ugh. I want I want what that Tatsu was for. It's kind of weird. There we go. I'm gonna punish that. So yeah, so I was definitely by this point feeling myself. I feel like uh, this is like I said, coming off straight off Street Fighter Five, and uh, I, I've gotten to a point where I can distinctly point out what I'm doing in this game. Whereas I feel like I have a good idea of what I'm doing so far, and I, a lot of that has to go with me just playing the game just straight fundamentals without worrying about all this other crap or whatever but we gotta have this guile here start funny enough playing a character I'm thinking about playing in Street Fighter 5 in the Charlie outfit alright so round one I realize that this is a zoning character and I realize I rock back a lot for some reason I like I back myself into the corner a lot so I realized I gotta kind of work on that. I wonder, if that, I wonder if that was a punish. I don't know. Okay. So this match is slow. I've played Giles before, and my, I don't think my win record at this point, so even to this day, is any anything of note. But it, one problem I do have with this game is trying to get in. And coming from a Tekken background, um, getting in isn't hard. I mean, there's times in Tekken where it's just like, yo, how do I get in? But with Street Fighter, it's like a puzzle to me how to get in. This is so much harder. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Because with Tekken, um, getting in relies on your opponent's mental strength. And me just throwing fireballs all day. The guy has life lead, so he's sitting pretty, pretty much. But, um... I'm surprised he punched out and I go for that instead of the combo. Yeah, there's so much things to think about in Tekken that it's really easy to slip up and kind of just lose your, lose your footing almost. In this game, it's, it's kind of easy really just to kind of stay put and block all day. Sort of. It depends on the character really, but in my case, whatever, it feels a lot harder because I don't understand the game that much and I won't jump right into that. But in my case, I've noticed it's definitely harder to kind of get in. So, and it's not like I get frustrated. It's like, I don't really feel like playing the long game or whatever sometimes. Because I feel like, I feel like a lot of people turtle for no reason in this game. It's like, yo, why are you turtling in it? Or whatever. I don't know. It's just, it's just really weird to see people just turtle when they, when they have no life.
Oh, they had the life. What? what not when they, when they had no life. It's like, why are you turtling? I'm the one that needs to be turtling. That's just beginner probably play though. I just rather do had like hella points with Guile. I don't understand the point system a little bit more. I can kind of gauge how good the opponent is, which is not all the way you know says anything really, but kind of gives you an idea. Yeah, see, see Guile just dominating this match, and I'm I'm just getting hit by booms at this point. So you know I've, I've cracked. I just really walk up and <laughs> beat him down. <laughs> that was bold. Oh, I hope, I hope it was in one of those situations where I just give give up rounds or whatever. Like sometimes if I feel like I can't win or whatever, and I don't have the confidence to come back, I'm just like, ah, right, you got it. Take that round. I do it. It was in my, it was in my first taken video for back in the saddle, where I did such a thing. But after this, I got an invite from a friend of mine, uh, Shinker. He plays Tekken as well. Um, he's in um, Savannah. He lives in Savannah, but he's a, a Atlanta OG, from what I can tell. And uh, let's just say I asked him to teach me how to play Street Fighter. This is our first session. Now, I'm going to show you three matches back to back to back with him. I've taken that horrible loss, kind of, you know, set the stage for the rest of these matches. Now, this dude completely wrecked me 12... Or 13, 14 to 15, I don't know. It was it was in the double digits to like one win, and it was one of those cases where you lose a lot, but you don't really care. You know what I mean? So it was a learning experience, and actually, I, I feel like I've built a lot from this play. I'm glad he actually played. He played two characters, Ryu and Ken, and I'm actually glad he didn't play his roles because uh, that would probably would have been a lot harder to learn. Because after a while, I started reading and understanding things. This, this was our first match, or it was our second match, actually. I'm, I'm tripping. The first match was kind of a blowout. So. Okay. That's patience on my part. Usually, I would have rushed in. Ooh. That's a bad focus attack. See, trying to win on just like fundamentals is like. Really, really, really hard. It's kind of like playing with uh, weighted clothing because you're just focused on the bare essentials of your character. You're not focused on like focus attacks. You're not focused on like ultras, even though those are part of the character and part of the game mechanics itself. They're not going to help me when it comes to Street Fighter Five, and it's just not. So I think my mind in this thing was just to learn, really. I, I didn't really I, I didn't come in to win I came in to learn and I think sometimes when you play people that's better than you like a lot better than you you just you just gotta have the attitude <laughs> when you come in to win though it's kind of like it's different and I think I noticed that's, I noticed that's why I used to get so angry early to, earlier last year when I was trying to play the game because I wasn't there to learn I was there to just win and but I knew my skill of at the time wouldn't allow that mm. okay in the corner eee that was supposed to be overhead, by the way. But the um, FADCS arcade will kill me anyway, so it didn't matter. I like wake up overheads. Even though people like show, like show you can out of them, it's just like uh, I just love uh, uh, wake up overheads for some reason. Probably need to stop doing that. But it works, so I don't know. Especially if people like to block a lot and stuff like that. They don't actually like to use um and stuff. Alright, so Ryu versus Ryu. I mean, Ken versus Ken, rather. Bring it on. Yeah, alright. Okay, so. So we tossing, tossing, tricking plasma over here. At this point, we've played like 12 games, apparently. And, dude, dude. See, I was having a problem the entire set. I cannot punish the SRK for some reason. And then, like, a few times, last few times I've played, I can do it easily. I have no idea what was going on. I think I was timing it too late. So my punishes were off for some reason. Ooh, bad. Cross up and did not do anything with it. And he crossed me up and he did a lot more with it. So I was surprised I didn't grab there, but yeah, it was a mispress. See, look at that. Just the buttons. Uh, 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 ugh. The bu 
buttons. Well, since I had played them 12 games at this point, I kind of got to understand my character a lot more and understand how the game is supposed to be played. And let's see, that was supposed to be a throw after that. No throw? I believe he's on a crouch tech right there. See, I don't even do that. I need to, but. Ooh. Nice overhead. See, at this point, I was like, ooh, overheads are really kind of good. Especially for, like, really patient players. It's just, it, it, it kills them. And I was a read on the uh, sure you can right there. Punish? See, there you go, right there. So I get punished for my own mistake. Counter it on my down, my crouching medium kick. I try, really not trying to play by play for my mindset, but the mindset was just at this point. We're playing footsies. I'm playing Street Fighter at this point. Not trying to do anything too fancy or whatever. Just understanding my buttons and everything. It's understanding when to use crouching medium kick. Sounds a straight up punish right there. Nice sweep. I should have. Oof. Wow, that was a combo and I missed that chance. See, I backed myself in the corner for like no reason. And that was risky too. So didn't I didn't hit confirm that at all. I just did it and just grabbed as soon as I came in. So he could have did anything right there. So here we go. So one thing I realized I gotta do is work on my hit confirms. Look at it, look at the look at the overhead. Look at you. Look at me. I'm, I'm slowly getting better at beating him. But that's just through matches and matches and matches. But the adaptation is there. I was learning something. That was way too early for a punish. One thing he taught me was that uh, Ken's fireball is kind of useless. So, you don't have to use it at the range. His uh, step kick is the main move you want to use at range. Now, Earlier in this set, he had been using Ultra 2 to punish fireballs, right? So, I accidentally throw one out, very obviously. Look, I'm trying to debate it out. See, yeah, that's what happened there. I was trying to get him to bait out the, the, the Ultra. And, <laughs> my blocking was kind of whack there, so, yeah. <laughs> but it, it was cool it was surprisingly cool losing all these matches because I don't know it felt good to lose matches and not care and I think that's a place you kind of got to get as a player is to not care about losing so much when you're trying to learn it's okay to kind of feel some, you know feel some kind of way when you lose and you're trying to win really really badly but yeah but I think that's basic knowledge though So I'm using medium punch as a poking tool now. I'm actually just really just thinking. Oof. So I'm using more of my buttons now. And trying to keep them out using the medium kick at, at, at max range. Should do some more fireballs in there. Nice. Whiff punish. Mm. I don't know if you could have punished that. See, I'm, I'm going back and forth measuring how far that kick is. Nice throw. Nice wake up. That was nice. I was far enough not to get caught by anything by doing that. Ooh, punish? Should have been a regular punish, but yeah. See, at this point, I'm playing Street Fighter. And that's what that multiple ass weapons will do to me, is how to end up playing Street Fighter. So I'm walking back and forth. That's like a tool in my game now, the jab, jab. <laughs> jab, jab. It's supposed to be like a combo. Um, jab, jab to little crouching medium into um, fireball. That's like a complete four-year combo, but I didn't know that until like this match. And now it's like a tool now. So, thank you. One thing he did teach me was that I need to learn the matchups 
and how magic heavy this game is. At the end of the video, I'm going to talk about the comparison between this and Tekken a lot more. Um, but this game, this this these, this set really just told me how different the game is from Tekken. Eesh, he could have. Oh, oh no, he couldn't have. Mm. Oh, oh. Wow! I want to that too straight. So yeah, I actually beat my demon there, and I kind of won. Um, not using my demon too much, but he's my like, teacher, my sensei, in the way of speaking. But yeah, I kind of learned. We played some more match after this, and I got my ass whipped. But this is the only one I really won. But after this, it was pretty much. You know, after this set, um, you'll see in my next Street Fighter video, maybe two weeks from now, that things are starting to progress and evolve. I'm seeing myself beating more capable opponents, and like with Scrubs or whatever. Like um, a lot, what a lot of people think about Street Fighter Five is that you know Scrubs will be able to come back with focus attacks and ultras like that. But they're not doing that to me now. Like I'm not be, I'm not losing to Scrubs, quote unquote. Like people that just random ultra and people that just like just do random stuff, or whatever. I'm not losing to randomness. I'm I'm losing I'm losing to people that maybe understand the system a lot better than I do, and the matchups better than I do. Or that's just me being ignorant of the matchups. But that's the thing with Tekken is that Tekken and Street Fighter is that Tekken doesn't rely on matchups. It relies on your grasp of the game's engine and managing all its variables. This game has some of that. I'm not saying it doesn't have any of that. And that's not to say that, that, not, that's not to say that Tekken doesn't have matchups. But they skew, skew one way or the other um, when, it, when it comes to those games. So I really sat down and kind of thought about the two games and compared them. And I realized that well, Tekken is Tekken and Street Fighter Street Fighter and they're both very good games because of what they are and and they're helping me learn from each other pretty much I'm using all my tech my fighting game Tekken fighting game experience in the Street Fighter 4 and I'm taking what I'm learning what I'm extrapolating from Street Fighter 4 into Tekken and it's so beautiful because I'm playing Tekken but I can play in Street Fighter 4 almost I'm still playing as like it's Tekken but I'm managing how I play like in a moment to moment basis analyzing my play a lot better there because in in Street Fighter it's easy to slow down it's, it's a lot easier to slow down and take your time and do what you need to do just Tekken you don't have too many opportunities to kind of like just like let me just clear my mind and just figure out the situation but in Tekken what I'm doing is allowing myself that I don't think I allow myself to take that time I need it it's harder to take that time but I've learned how to take it and that's what made my game in Tekken better and I feel I see myself performing a lot better I still have those old pitfalls and everything but I'm getting better in both games I like it and I love it but what I need to do now is crunch time wise because final rounds in two months um when it comes to Street Fighter I'll jump on that hard but when it comes to Tekken they both need study time and studying is not my forte but I need to study these games and study things that I have. I need to sit in practice mode for a while instead of just jumping online and learning something or just jumping training mode for like 10 minutes of warm up and then jump online. I need to actually study this game. This game, Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, Tekken. And if the online is good in the Mortal Kombat patch, I may jump back on that. But that's all for me from today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in Tekken next week. Alright, guys, peace.